This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. Guess what? Yeah, it's the Ramble. And I'm Alex Bennett. We're here until midnight tonight, and uh, uh, we will talk with you and have some fun. If you hear a little buzz going on now, it's because we have the air conditioner on all the time. It's, uh, it's getting a little warm in this part of the, uh, in this neck of the woods. So um, we're having to go with the air conditioning. And I, uh, I wish we had a quieter air conditioner, but there's no, no such thing. They all say, you know, I, we went out, we were buying a new air conditioner. And everyone says, oh, this one's quiet. This is a quiet one. Oh, this is, and none of them are quiet. You know, they all, they all make a rumbling noise. But hopefully you can't hear it that uh, that closely, and uh, uh, we'll um, we'll hope that it uh, it uh, doesn't bother you this evening. Uh, every uh, every so uh, now and then uh, we spend like the first 20 minutes or 25 minutes of our program uh, with uh, a gentleman who uh, everybody uh, seems to uh, absolutely uh, hate. Uh, and I don't think he takes that uh, the wrong way because he seems to enjoy it. Yeah, he lives in that venom that is incurred towards him. Hello there, Phil. Hey, I don't feel good. You don't? No. I've been taking COVID test after COVID test, and they're all negative. But yeah. my eyes are tearing. My ear hurts, my nose is running. I feel like a piece of homemade shit. Really? Yeah, so I've decided that it's time to go left. You know, if I don't feel good, I want the government to take care of me. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I don't, I don't wanna have to work. Just, just let the government take care of me. You know, it's, I'll, I'll vote for Biden, you know? I don't even have school loans, and you know he he can pay them off. It'll feel good. This is getting. Uh, uh, you're not serious about this, now, are you? Well, I see all of these heroes. For instance, in the Louvre, uh, the Louvre. Some guy. The Louvre. No, it's actually pronounced Louvre. No, it's pronounced Louvre. I asked. I asked Siri. Well, it's pronounced Louvre. Yeah, well, maybe in this country. But in France, it's Louvre. Well, a, a, okay. Hey, Siri, how do you pronounce Louvre? Well, what are you going to say? From TravelingTexans.com, the correct French way to pronounce Louvre is Louvre. All is right. It, is Louvre. What? Yeah. So uh, this guy dresses up like an old lady. He's in a wheelchair, mm -hmm. and he's got a piece of pastry hidden uh, beneath his skirt and with wheelchairs they can push him closer to uh, the Mona Lisa and mm -hmm. the Mona Lisa has this big piece of glass in front of it mm -hmm. I guess several years ago somebody threw a cup no, at it no yeah. that isn't it, it hit, the, the, the Mona Lisa has been stolen so many times yeah. that they're not <laughs> sure that the one that's there now is the original ah yeah. well anyway this guy takes a pastry, and it must have been a cream pastry because he smears it all over the glass. Mm -hmm. Well, he was quickly removed. But, you know, hey, he's a hero. Uh, you know, he Why is he a, a hero? Well, because he's expressing his uh, issues with uh, the right and, uh, you know, how they're keeping Mona Lisa behind glass instead of allowing her to be seen and touched by the masses well uh, we've they've allowed that in the past and that didn't go very well for them they don't like it uh, they also that uh, that uh, glass has a uh, ultraviolet or something on it to prevent yeah. uh, prevent it from fading with all the people that want to take flash pictures of it well 
I I was in uh, a museum, and you know, there's a lot of museums in Paris, and this was the Museum de Orsay. D'Orsay. Yeah, yeah, well. Uh, that's, the impre- that's the Impressionist Museum. Yes. Yes, and it's in the old railroad station. Right, across the river from uh, the, the Louvre. Well, and also from where it used to be, uh, which was, uh, well, it was, I think it was called the Musée d'Orsay at that time, too. Yeah. But they uh, moved it over there to the train station. It's one of the most beautiful uh, museums in the whole world. It's a fabulous museum. Yeah. And I saw all of these signs that said no flash photography. Mm-hmm. So I asked somebody, how come? And they said, well, because if you use a flash, you don't get a very good picture. It just washes out the uh, the picture and it's overexposed and and uh, also you know, if if too many people take flash pictures of that one painting particular thing it will start fading as a result yeah. so uh, i mean like you can shoot video there in fact what's nice about the museums in europe is they allow you to photograph in them if you pay a fee yeah. so i paid the extra like you know 10 bucks or something and was able to go and just shoot Everything, and you could get this close to a Van Gogh if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. At that museum, at the Museum d'Orsay. Musée d'Orsay. Musée, yeah. M U S E, I guess. Well, I just try to give you yeah. culture, but that's like leading a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Right. Well, I, I, I've got too much culture. You know, the eyes are running. Uh, you know, maybe what I should do is join an ashram. That's that's I'm getting prepared. Well, are, are, are you are you sure that what you don't have isn't uh, isn't uh, allergies? Uh, I'm, no, I, they're probably allergies because I have tested three times in the last two days, and uh, so far no COVID, but I've got a, a, a kit, and the last COVID test didn't come with one of these uh, Q-tips. So I use these Q-tips for cleaning my guns. <laughs> and, you know, I figured, hey, you know, maybe maybe I do have COVID and one more test may tell the, the story. Well, you want to do it here? Oh, yeah. So let's see. Okay. You got to go up about three quarters of an inch five mm-hmm. times around mm-hmm. in this nostril. Mm-hmm. What happens if you have three nostrils? And so anyway let's see so i'm visiting this nostril and now i'll visit this nostril Mm -hmm. all right Mm -hmm. Uh, now have you done your home COVID tests no because i haven't been sick yeah i don't know why i got sick you know okay so now what do you do after you do that well then they give you these um uh these things in the kit of course there's instructions uh, you open the envelope, mm-hmm. and inside the envelope, hermetically sealed, is a COVID tester strip, mm-hmm. and this. Um, where is it? Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, there it is. Mm-hmm. And this thing, which uh, you stick, the um, don't make it very easy to open. Uh, so anyway, you stick the Q-tip in that. Okay, that's the reagent, I would imagine. How come I don't have a producer that opens this up? Cabinets cheapen out, you know. If 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 they got me a producer, then I would be able to have this stuff already open before mm-hmm. I have to fumble with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And there's a liquid. All right. So this is the liquid. So you, you take this liquid off mm-hmm. and you fill okay. this. Uh, yeah. Hold it up to your camera so we can see you doing yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, you fill this thing and you put the liquid in there. Mm-hmm. Okay, now the liquid is in there. You can see it in the bottom. Mm-hmm. Then the next step is you take the Q-tip and you swirl it around for a while. Uh, and you make sure that you transfer the stuff to the liquid. Mm-hmm. There's probably a reason that the Q-tip that came with this was smaller than the uh, one that I'm using. 
So we do this for about 15 seconds. All right. Then, oh, the Q-tip fell off into in the thing. So then there's a top. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so hey, this is this is uh, live radio. Live, live, live. Uh, this is uh, this, whatever this is. I, All I, right. I, so you you put this top on, mm -hmm. and then you're able to squeeze three drops into this thing that says three drops. We put three drops. Mm -hmm. So we put one drop two drops it's not going out one drop oh there we go one drop two drops three drops all right so we we got that up there uh so we'll wait a we'll wait a minute because what will happen well show us what what you're holding so that okay so what will happen is this is going to go up to the thing that says c c does not mean COVID, and it doesn't mean pregnant either it means that you've got enough of that liquid in the in the orifice to uh, reach the sea and then there'll be a red line and uh so once that happens once that hold happens it closer that, to your camera hold it closer to your camera so we can see okay. it okay so i'm i'm looking yeah. over here because i'm looking at you yeah no problem so yeah, the, yeah it's it's getting up there and mm -hmm. there should be a red line at the sea within a few minutes and that tells you that you've applied the proper amount of shit but because i probably screwed this thing up mm -hmm. uh oh there's the, there's the line uh, it's starting to appear hold it, hold, oh, go the closer sea? to your camera closer to your yeah. camera even closer than that yeah yeah do you see it under the sea yeah i don't see the red line however uh, it's not red yet it's uh, it's just beginning to uh to show yeah and uh there's so there's a line under the sea mm -hmm. and uh it should turn red and that's the control so let's see uh so the, this thing is starting to get darker mm -hmm. and darker mm -hmm. and so in 15 minutes once i see that that red line under the sea then in 15 minutes we'll look at it again and see if phil has covid all right all right uh, yeah, can you see the line is starting to get darker? Let's see here. I have to look over here. Let me see. All right. Let me, let me put on my dark glasses. My sun, my glasses here. I see a little bit there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So that's the control. Mm -hmm. So we'll give that a couple of minutes. Uh, yeah, it, it, it looks red uh, here. But now if there's another line under the T, that means I'm positive. If there's no line under the T, it means... I'm negative, which I am quite often. So, yeah. <laughs> oh God! Oh, but wow. the show must go on. The show must go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's see. While we're waiting to see if I'm positive or negative, mm -hmm. um, Justin Trudeau uh, took all the guns, uh, made made it illegal to have guns in Canada. I guess they put a freeze on guns you can't sell them you can't buy them good. you can't good. own them good you know so good i guess there'll be a lot of guns for sale in the united states from canada what do you mean what are you saying well you know all those people that can't sell them in canada and and can't own them all they got to do is ship them down here and there'll be a bunch of gangbangers that'll give them good money i don't it. know if there's some law against that however i'm but sure I, there is anyway you know, he has it. What make? Oh, good for Justin Trudeau. He doesn't have to live by a constitution that has a whack, wacky Second Amendment. You know. Well, yeah. Well, he 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 can uh, remember Trucker Steve. Mm -hmm. You know, those guys went and protested, and what did they do to them? They uh, towed their trucks, they closed their bank accounts, and uh, they made their lives ap absolutely miserable because they were protesting. And, uh, you know, I mean, I don't think that was fair. Yes, they blocked the bridge, but... Um, yeah. Isn't that how you protest? Uh, yes, but if it is against the welfare of, the, of, the, of people's welfare to do that, 
uh -huh. uh, and it makes it endangers them, then no, uh, okay. you know, peaceful protesting is not doing protesting which may be harmful to people. That's not peaceful protesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I've seen a lot of protests, and uh, not all of them are peaceful. But uh, hey, I you know I I've decided it's time to join an ashram. I'm gonna just go home. And uh, you know, join join the left. Oh, and... quit trying to be cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's listen. hard when you're sick. <laughs> listen to him. You know, oh, yeah. we have uh, waiting oh. on the line. Soon he'll be here. Beyond, I'll put him. We'll put yeah, him on. I got I got tissues. Yeah. yeah is is, is Josh picture. Wheeler, who has yeah. COVID. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's let's see if I'm joining him. Uh, so far. It's still at the sea. It's still at so, the sea. Okay. Yeah. So that's the control, and uh, this line it looks red here, but it doesn't look red on the camera. Yeah, I can't see it as red here. Yeah, it's not. It's not red on the camera. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I guess the gamut isn't picking that up, but it's definitely red in person. Yeah, I've only taken one COVID test, and that's only because they paid me fifty bucks to do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I bought some COVID tests uh, yesterday. Two of them at Walgreens cost me twenty three bucks or twenty six really? bucks. They should be they should be giving them away free. I think they are. Uh, Kaiser, I believe, will send you one a week, and then um, uh, the U.S. Post Office. Uh, did you get the? Uh, I got I got these. Yeah, and the we got office. we have we have four boxes of two each. Yeah, I, yeah. I got uh, two boxes of two, yeah. and now I understand you can get another shipment. Yeah. But, so. you know, we just haven't had any need for them because we haven't suspected that we have COVID, you know. Yeah. So. Well, I, I don't know how I got this. I mean, I uh, I take all my vitamins and... Well, uh, you, know, you, you, there, you know, there are other uh, cold... Is it, is it a cold? It's either a cold or allergies. Are you, are you running a temperature? No. Okay, then it's a, it's a cold. Yeah. Or or allergies. One or the yeah. other. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I'm, I never get sick. Yeah, ever. And uh, Well, it happens. But, Join yeah. the club, you know. Yeah, so I had to cancel some appointments tomorrow because I didn't want to expose uh, this friend of mine to whatever I've got. And so far, it's still not COVID. But uh, maybe you gave your entire photo club uh, COVID. <clears throat> you know, they all wear masks, and uh, and and they're all careful. They uh, there's not that many of them. Uh, as soon as you know, once we started having in-person meetings again, mm -hmm. uh, it, we lost a lot of uh, momentum, and. Uh, you know, next year I'm I'm done. I don't want to be the print chair anymore. You know, I, I did it because I got conned into it. Uh, the guy who was doing it got Alzheimer's. No, you like the power. Out. You like the power. Yeah, the power. Yes. Yeah, I have to you show up, organize the prints, and ha hand them to the to somebody who puts them on a, a a box that has lights in it, so the judge can rip it apart. Oh, and uh, although. Uh, I did all right, but the problem is I'm not in the master's group yet. You you have to have so many points in order to get into the next group. So I went from basic to intermediate to advanced and then, you know, master. So I, my competition is minimal. And I, got, I put in two pictures. I got first and second. You know? Yeah, but once you go to the master's, you get wiped out. Yeah, probably some of those guys are great and all they do is travel and and do you know, go to different countries and to the most fantastic places because mm -hmm. they're retired and they have money and uh you know so and that's their hobby they there's this one guy he hires a guide to take him to get the best shots really and he goes all over the world well you see yeah. Yeah. But uh, so, hey, I've got a, you know, photograph MMA fights. 
and and wrestling mm -hmm. and uh, things like that. But I think people are getting tired of my pictures because they have blood in them. You know. Yeah. Well, how's your uh, How's your test doing? Or anything? Uh, still nothing. You got that? Still nothing, huh? Okay. Yeah. So uh, has it been 15 minutes yet? Almost. I started this about five minutes in, so it's it's been about 10 or 12 yeah, because minutes. Because you accidentally lost that uh, that Q-tip in there. Did maybe yeah, that... but I was able to squeeze the stuff out. You know, uh, so, you know, what's the difference if as long as I could squeeze the, the oh, bottom of the tube. Oh, okay, yeah. And, and get the stuff out. But each one comes with a desiccant. So, uh, you know, these desiccants are pretty good. You know, you can yeah. use them for other I things. I use them with uh, I use them with guacamole dip. Yes, yes. Yeah, they're very, very delicious. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, did you miss me yesterday? If I said yes, would you believe me? No. Oh, okay. Then I won't. No. Say yes. uh, Alan, Alan calls me and says, "Hey." You're not going to be on four times a month. I said, thank God. But he says, uh, you know, that you, you want to have more interviews on, on Wednesdays, and I'll do, you know, like no, every not other. On I think that's a great idea. Oh, really? Yeah, well, I, because you're such a good interviewer. Well, I mean, yeah, but no, but it, it, uh, it depends on whether I have anybody, and then I might have yeah. to bump you. Otherwise, I'm not going to bump you on Thursday. All right, you know what? Whatever yeah. you'd like to do is. But if I, let's fun. say I do an interview with Slayton or somebody like that, well, I've already got Bubbles and I've already got Kravitz, so I got to put Slayton somewhere. And if it were that Thursday, that would be fine, you know. Well, I was thinking about approaching some people that I know that were comedian, are comedians, and are uh, to the right, and actually nice people. Uh, and, uh, you know, see if uh, I can get them to come on and have you uh, talk to them so that you get some fresh blood. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Now, I didn't, you know, you don't you don't like me to book anybody, do you? No. No. Yeah. No. I, I remember once I, I got a, uh, a lady, uh, um, uh, she was an ex uh, weightlifter uh, at, Ca uh, and I brought it and I set it up at Camel for you. Mm -hmm. And you actually did an arm wrestling on the air, but the way you described it, you were able to really make it real for everybody, even though it was over the radio. Mm -hmm. uh, do you remember that one? No. No? <laughs> All right. But I imagine I did it, you know, if I was, yeah. if I was you know, uh, arm wrestling, it sounds like something I would do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she was a, she was a uh, bodybuilder. Uh, champion bodybuilder so i i got her to come to the station uh, with your permission mm -hmm. and um uh you you arm wrestled her i thought it was great yeah yeah well, well it sounds like something i would do you yeah know. But i'm just tired today i don't know why yeah? yeah well maybe you got what i got you want a tissue yeah i'm just you know just tired all the time it's been it's been getting hot here and uh, then my air conditioner decided to stop working is that the new one? Yeah, and then I bought, no, then I ordered a new one. It just arrived I today. I thought you it, had to give up your air conditioner to the uh, old... Uh, no, landlord. those were his old air conditioners, but the one yeah. in the bedroom wasn't his. So anyway, so we, um, you know, we, so it, it all of a sudden it stopped working on the hottest day of the year so far. It's always like that. Yeah, and so we immediately ordered a new one. Uh, this one's got Wi-Fi, though. That's what's great. Got Wi-Fi. Yeah. Uh, another thing you don't have to get up to touch. Yeah, that's right. We can just yell at, you know, uh, Alexa and tell her to so turn it on. What, uh, what rooms are you putting this in? Uh, in the bedroom. Oh, okay. In the bedroom. But in the meantime, the, the old one, the bad one, yeah. started working again. Now, right. I, I, I'm still going to... We didn't... We still kept the other one ordered and had it coming because if that thing went bad and then it suddenly perked up again, it's going to go bad again. So I yeah. just, you know, when we're getting to this part of the year where it's going to be devastating if you don't have an air conditioner. So I'm going to, I'm doing the air conditioner thing. You know? Uh, I, you know, I understand. They, they, they have air conditioners that uh, mount on the, on the wall. 
and then uh, there's there's a unit I think Mitsubishi sells them. Uh, I was looking at a house, and that's the kind of air conditioning they're going to use. They said they use them in Europe, uh, so they they mount above a door or above a wall, mm -hmm. and uh, then there's another part of the unit that goes somewhere else. And uh, well, I, these are those. I, yeah, I know those air conditioners. I have a friend who has one. It just goes up. It's kind of a corner. It goes up in the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, yeah, but um, um, yeah, they're very expensive. Oh, and uh, you know, I I just uh, I just decided just get this one. It, was, it ran us close over five hundred dollars. Really, it, uh, it would you... have cost us less if we'd gone through Amazon, but Amazon couldn't get it to us for at least, at least a week, if not two weeks. Did where, you try where, Costco? No, no. Where, uh, whereas we went over to, uh, well, Costco, I'd have to actually lug the thing back home. No, they deliver. Well, yes, if you go through their online, online thing, which would also take a lot of days to get it to us. We yeah. wanted this faster, so we went to Best Buy and paid an extra 75 bucks to buy it now. You know? Oh, you couldn't get them to match? I, you know, I didn't have time for any of that. Yeah. All right. You know, I just wanted the goddamn thing. How uh, many BTUs? Uh, 1,200. 12, yeah. 1,200? 12,000. 12,000. 12, yeah. Is that going to blow your circuit? No, because it's not in that uh, particular uh, area. You know, oh, so okay. it's not. I, we've got, <coughs> we've got two things that are hooked to fuses, two circuits that are hooked to fuses in the basement. One the entire apartment is on one of them. And the other one is only on like one plug in the wall in the, in the dining room. So I have it plugged into there and that can, it certainly can take 12, 12,000. Is it a fuse or a circuit breaker? It's a circuit breaker down in the basement. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's too bad they can't put in a heavier circuit breaker, but maybe the wiring won't won't handle it. Well, I don't know. I don't know what the story is. I mean, everything in this apartment house. You got to realize, this building was built in what? Nineteen hundred or something. Nineteen hundred, uh, yeah. and at that point, it didn't have electricity in it. Yeah. Yeah. You know. uh, do you still have the sconces that had the gas in it? Uh, no. 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 Excuse me, um, I'm, I'm trying to keep myself from sneezing. That's why I'm doing yeah. this. Uh, I am still COVID free, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm pregnant. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> hope it's not mine. Nah, yeah. it's not mine either. <laughs> yeah. So what did you, what did you think about the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard thing? Ah, I'm glad you asked about that. See, because uh, I think I came up with a theory. The yeah. whole thing was trivial. Okay. The whole thing was real trivial and looky loose stuff, but the outcome was profound. Yeah. Do you think that these lawsuits were brought to reinvigorate uh, Johnny Depp's um, uh, uh, persona? And yes, his... of course they were. He even said so. He was yeah. suing because he wanted to, to uh, win back a lot of the people who think he's a, was a wife beater, you know, well, he wanted to clear much, his good name. How much do you think he spent on attorneys? I wouldn't be surprised if it's somewhere around two, three million dollars. Wow. And Amber Heard, when she got the verdict, said, I don't have the money. <laughs> so, no, and I don't think I don't think he's suing for the money. It, yeah, well, it, he got awarded 10 million. Yeah, uh, and but, five million. But, I but think what that did was that that had said to people that a jury felt that she was lying in all the things that she was accusing him of. Well, and, why is and, she getting? And, and, and you know, we've talked about this on the air here about guys being accused of doing things they never did, but because the woman says it, everybody immediately wants to believe it. You know, I was thinking about Kavanaugh and Avenatti when he uh, marched. Uh, a couple of uh, of women in front of uh, Kavanaugh and accused Kavanaugh of rape and and so forth. But well, Avenatti I, today, I don't think the two have anything in 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 comparison well, it's, it's with a each other. Thing. No, it's not. No, it's not. How is it not? Because Kavanaugh was was up for being a member of the Supreme Court and therefore was subject to all kinds of scrutiny. Johnny Depp is not. Uh, uh, 
does not have to put up with that. He's not. But Johnny not. Depp played a Supreme Court justice on TV. No, he didn't. No. <laughs> I know. No, but I mean, it's entirely different. Entirely different. Well, we have found that Michael Avenatti was not an upstanding person. Yeah. Uh, he, he stole the book proceeds. Well, let's from... face it. To begin with, he was a lawyer, wasn't he? Okay. Yeah, so okay. You, you're asking for him to be upstanding and be a lawyer? But if you're going to accuse someone, even if it's Kavanaugh and the position that he was going for, shouldn't it be based on the truth? Uh, yeah, I mean, things should be based on the truth, sure. But You know, yeah. uh, Blase Ford had some recollection in, during her childhood that, uh, that this had happened. Mm -hmm. Oh, my fellow liberals, hello there. <laughs> it's nice to see all of you. Biden, Harris. I'm ready. The air conditioner Phil was talking about is called a split system. Split system. What, what, what's that noise? Somebody's got Kevin's it. microphone working good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Kevin. Sorry. Is that a beard trimmer or a shredder? Uh, it's a shredder. I'm warming it up for the election. Okay. <laughs> hey, when when is the California uh, ballot due in? I have to fill it out, and uh, I didn't see Tuesday. Biden on it. The mail in Tuesday. two days ago. Tuesday at uh, o'clock uh, p.m. Tuesday, Tuesday, Kevin. Wednesday, Phil. Yep. Wednesday. Ah, Wednesday. I'll just drop it off in the drop box. Just is it the it election the seventh? Just give it to me. Okay. Um, I know. Care, I know it'll be safe. Yep. I got a shredder right here. Yeah. How many? How many of them do you want? And uh, not too many for the shredder because he doesn't have one of those really expensive ones. Ah, you know? yeah. yeah, I could do four or five ballots at a time, easy. All right, do you <laughs> yeah. keep the sticker that says "I voted"? Yeah, I got oh. about twenty of them. All right, you want one? You want two? Yeah, I got, I got two. I got three right now. You know, you got a whole roll. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, how you feeling? He he has COVID. Mm. We well, we know he has COVID. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. is it been is it been tough or has it been easy? Uh, I What's wouldn't say easy, but man, it hadn't been tough. But yeah, uh, you know, it's uh, not <clears throat> easy. I mean, just it's just an. I would say it's annoying. That's all. Yeah, you mean like you know, it, it like Phil? Yeah, I got a <laughs> cold. I don't feel good. Yeah. yeah. Do, do, you notice how, do you notice how nobody here cares? Yeah, Alan cares. <laughs> and Jeff cares. He's, he's well, he only I'll tell you guy. why I care. Yeah. yeah. My granddaughter, my oldest granddaughter, is working on a show in Connecticut. And she's the producer, I think. And they keep getting sick. They keep getting COVID. Yes. So I don't know how they're going to have a show. So she was supposed to stay at our house because it's closer than where she lives. Okay. Pam actually told her, no more. You can't come here because I don't want to get Jeff sick and I don't want to get my mother who lives down the street. Sick. If she gets sick yeah and i don't think pamela wants to get sick back. either and she doesn't want to get sick i mean it's like crazy right. everybody that i know is getting sick these days do you want to know what i what happened today what i heard today i get a call from uh, i write you know i wrote checky last night and wished him a bon voyage because he's going to europe on a big big vacation right three weeks Lucky. cruises two different cruises in uh, one of which nice. winds up at castle dracula in transylvania and so on and really terrific he calls me today and says i'm not going Ugh. why he said why was because he said you know i'm going to go on this trip and i'm going to worry for two weeks that i ha you have to take a test coming back to get into the united oh, states so they'll hold you out of the country yeah does he get a second cruise free? Wait, 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 let me finish what I'm what he was saying. And he didn't want to spend his whole vacation worrying about that. You know, he wanted it worry free. And the whole idea of having to take a COVID test to get back into the country he lives in. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, and I, there's something. 
I don't know. I, I don't know whether I, I, I approve of that or don't approve of it, but he said he just didn't want to deal with it. So he said, I don't care if I lose the 15 grand on the vacation I was going to take. I am not going. Can he come back through Mexico? All he has to do is walk across the border and they won't test him. You know, you're always taking a moment out to pull something like that out of your of fucking ass. But hey, this way he doesn't have to worry about it. The ship docks in Tijuana. He walks across and uh, where's the test? Anyway. We want that. We want them to be able to but, So he decided right not to. He decided not to go, you know. And I mean, it is a, it is a big problem. You know, and then also he didn't know. Hey, Delta was supposed to be flying over there. He didn't know whether Delta was even going to fly. You know, they canceled twenty three hundred flights yeah, the other day. Yeah. Now, <laughs> why do you think they did that? It was a holiday, wasn't it? Yeah, but they canceled them. So they can raise the prices. That, I, 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 think I don't think it was that. I, I think I that has something to do with it. I really do. I think, I think all these people. I think everybody from gas stations to airlines to uh, 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 car rental services, all these people are like feigning problems so well, that they you know, can charge you more. The, the thing that costs you more is when you lose a customer and, and, you, and, you, and you make a customer dissatisfied. That costs you a lot more than whatever Dude, amount Phil, of money. What world are you living in today? I'm living in a world you're where living, I get a lot of five-star reviews. You're, li you're living in the carpet world what I'm talking about here is that, like, for instance, I've, I've had any number of things where I've been dealing with companies and they don't give a crap. Nope. They oh, just I, I don't, don't give think a so. Crap. I, I really believe that the companies want satisfied oh, really? customers. Let me give you an example. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, 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 just, I decided to up my subscription at Channel 13 here so I could get these passport shows that are on their app. So That's I go uh, in, a, a non-profit, yeah. right? Yeah. So I went in and I uh, I, I uh, uh, did a five dollar a month thing. Okay, sixty bucks a year, right? So then uh, I uh, nothing happens. So I go back and I do it again on another card, but now I've got two charges against me. So <laughs> then I wrote them to a letter and. Uh, I didn't hear anything back. I wrote him another letter, didn't hear anything back. Wrote him yet another letter and didn't hear anything back. Tried to phone them and you couldn't get them on the phone. Oh, nobody's on the phone. Okay, because what I'd like to the, do, the card. I'd like to cancel all of these things oh. and then give me whatever I got to have in order to get the passport. But I couldn't get anybody on the phone. It Finally, I waited somewhere and I got somebody on the phone and they took care of it. But two days ago, I wrote these emails, and I never got one back. Mm -hmm. Never got a reply. You so, know, so this problem. this is Channel Thirteen, who Customer comes to you begging, beg, begging for money. You know, uh, oh, services. oh, we want your money. Please subscribe to Channel Thirteen, or in San Francisco, it'd be Channel mm -hmm. Nine. And then when you try, they just screw you over. <laughs> they just screw you over. So if they don't care, believe me, a lot of other companies don't care either. Was Channel 13 UHF or VHF? VHF. Oh, okay. It was and That was the last channel that you could turn to. Was it right? On VHF. Yeah. yeah. Then th 14 was UHF. Yeah. 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 But know? Phil, you don't do that to your customers, right? Of course not. Of course not. Well, these, I, I, so many companies are crazy these days. I only have one goal in business, and that's a satisfied customer. Mm -hmm. So I will do whatever it takes. I tell everybody that works for me, you know what? Just I'm empowering you to do the right thing. You should never have to ask me to do the right thing. Just do it. And well, uh, I just think that people don't don't care anymore about servicing you, the customer. It's not, it's the people who run the companies don't give a shit. Well, they don't, not only do they not. They want to reduce the price. You, you know how that wait, works? Wait, wait, hold on a second, Phil. Uh, the problem is that you try, and I've done this recently, you try and get any company that once, that used to be that you could call a company 
get somebody on the line and talk to them. They had a phone number, please call us, this is where you can call us and contact us. Mm -hmm. That doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. They don't want you to talk to them. You know, you can get, vo you can get these voice prompts but they, it has to resolve itself into some kind of recording. Uh, and you go, let me talk to a human being. Yeah, but first do this. And then you go, let me talk to, I, you have to yell into the phone, let me talk to a human being. And eventually, maybe if you're lucky, you'll get one these days. Back but they don't want to they, they don't want to talk to you. Yes, Alan. There is an app that's made for iPhones and for Androids called get human and it's free and you look at it and you find the company you want and it's got the most they updated every three months the most current numbers to get to human beings mm -hmm. and it's, I, I use it you know once in a while when i can't get to anybody and it works i mean like i have files i mean here. you have to dial the number separately but i, I have I, I have files here it used to be i could call files and talk to somebody i can't anymore i just can't anymore it's impossible. You can't get a number to. It says here. Here's the, here's the number to call us if you want to talk to somebody. And then you call that number, and it's just a bunch of robotics telling you, you know, press one for this, press t two for something else, you know, and none of it will do much of it. Air conditioner just came on. It feels good. I, oh, sorry. I at my talk. store, I'm booked for installations until the middle of August, <laughs> and the reason why every day. And what really screwed me up is one of my installers got COVID last week and he had to take six or seven days off to, and to get to the point where he tested negative. And uh, even though he said, hey, I feel pretty good, but you know, my kids got COVID, then I got it. Hmm. And uh, you know, so that screwed up my schedule even more, but you know, I'm, I'm out till mid August. And, and that's because people call me up, they see the reviews now I say this on your show. Now everybody's going to get the idea to give me a one-star review. <laughs> so, all my haters, but uh, you know, if cust if stores or just businesses realize that they only have one boss and that's the customer. Hey, if they, if all these companies treat the customer like crap, which they do now, and with the inability to talk to them and to get stuff <laughs> done. I mean, come on, if Channel 13 who comes begging for my money all the time doesn't want to let me have a way to get a hold of them. None well, of them They answer to. the phone on pledge night. So when they want you to pledge, yeah. you call them up. <laughs> They'll answer the phone. Yeah. You usually don't get one of those people who's on camera, though, answering uh, the calls. Yeah. You know. so I have one other question. I, have, I, I noticed today that you got your blueberry hot sauce delivery out. Oh, yes. Box. By the way, I wanted to... Thank you for that. You're, you're welcome. You Marjorie me. wants me to thank you for that because oh. I there's no way I want to use it. No. But she loves hot sauce, so okay. Good. I told her it's ghost she, peppers. I'm just wondering if she tried it. And I don't know. Uh, she I would have. She hasn't tried it yet. It's still sitting out there. I would have GERD and acid reflux all night if I used that kind of stuff. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll get you a bottle and make oh, no, it. don't do me any favors. Change the label to mild. Yeah, no, don't do me any favors. Yeah. So anyway, you're welcome. Anytime she wants more, let me know. I'll send her more. Now keep calm, Phil. Let everybody get their two cents worth in here, because I'm going to talk about something here. The president tonight. I didn't hear the speech, but I hear he finally just gave an impassioned plea, plea that, as he put it, this carnage has got to stop, you know. And then gave a bunch of ways that you could take care of the carnage, and I don't think many of them were particularly effective, you know. I think that we should make a law against assault weapons, and I'll tell you why, very simply. You're not violating the Constitution, because when the Constitution was written, these guns didn't exist. Okay, so if we're going to go by what was the intent when it was written, at the very least you have to say, and correct me if I'm wrong, Josh, on this, you have to say the guns did not exist, these weapons did not exist at that time, and had our forefathers known about those weapons, would they have written it in exactly the way they wrote it? 
So, uh, you know, if you want to make a case that, uh, you know, I'd like to see all guns stop, but at least these assault rifles, which seem to be the weapon of choice for these mass killings, uh, uh, it, 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 they should probably make those illegal. Just say you can't have them, you know. Well, uh, Josh, how does that set with the, with the Constitution? You're on the right track. You know with that line of thinking with trying to get it down into you know a textual view or you know an original intent and, and trying to address the issue with something that can actually be defended and you know well debated and and, and worked through in a way that's just not an all or nothing type approach you know because if the if the left or if anybody you know, just demands, you know, no guns, take them all, melt them down or whatever. I mean, that's, that's not going to get anywhere. You know, one, I don't think that it's legal. And two, you know, you, you're not going to get it. You're, you're the only people that are really going to support that is a, is a small number of people. So it's not, it's not going to get anywhere. I mean, you know, there are plenty of people in the middle that would vote for a lot of Democrats, but they're not going to support that, especially in the Midwest and, and other parts of the country. So this is a more, sensible path even though you might not get there and i do think that there is a good argument that can be had about you know textually these weapons could be regulated in in a way because there is no way to have foreseen them and via the text of the amendment the government does so have some power to regulate so they're not taking away anyone's ability to arm themselves. They're taking away uh, certain abilities to arm themselves in certain ways, but not in all ways. So you know that that's a good that's a good starting point to work off of. You don't think that's a slippery slope? No. Well, I think well, that it has to be the famous Republican slippery slope. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, no, I, I don't know that it it that it is because you know it can be look it can be reviewed I mean it can be reviewed by the voters okay it can be reviewed judicially um, you know it can be reviewed by lawmakers I mean everyone's going to have a chance to have their democratic say in it and you know they're look they're the government has always regulated certain weapons um, you know they're there is what is reasonable and what is not reasonable you can find ways to fit that within the original intent you can find ways to fit that within the text um so i guess what i'm saying is there is some crossover areas there that can grab different judges of different judicial interpretation philosophies that could get on board with it you know because you're banning certain weapons you know especially if you get pretty specific now whether or not you support that is another matter okay that's a personal matter right mm -hmm. what you think or what i think or what the third or fourth or fifth person we ask things could be different but we're not talking about the specifics we're talking about broadly you know would the government have the power to do so and first a certain up to a certain point the answer you know is yes i i don't know that you know really anyone will say nothing is off limits because we know that that's not the case because there are weapons that you cannot own i mean there always have been so you know the government does have that power yes alan so i agree with phil it's kind of a slippery slope how do you decide what an assault weapon is you can start off with what everybody thinks of an assault weapon, the the uh, AR-15 and the AK-47. But then pretty soon people say, well, all semi-automatic rifles, it, it doesn't matter if they have a handgun round, a 22 bullet, or a rifle round, it, it, they're, they're an assault weapon. And then they can say semi-automatic shotguns, they're an assault. I mean, where does it, where does it go? Um, you know, a, a lot of this uproar is over the school shootings, and of course there should be uproar. But I, I see a correlation between 
the school shootings. Now there was just one in Tulsa. It wasn't a school. There's a bigger school. There's a bigger correlation, Phil. But you are yeah. you're avoiding well, that. Let, let me. You're let avoiding me say that. This. The the correlation uh, in the school shootings is most of the shooters are under 21, and mm -hmm. most of them are on some mm -hmm. sort of um, drug to keep them calm. You know. Uh, really? Do you know that for a fact? Yeah, I had a list that was uh, put out that that had each shooter, each school shooter, really? and what drugs they were really? on. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Really? And, where where and did you almost, find? Where did you find this list? Yeah, where did you find that? It was well. Uh, you're gonna get. It was put out by the Church of Scientology. But uh, do you know what the Church of Scientology is? Again? My my friend is the president of the San Francisco Church of Scientology, but I I don't go there and I don't he doesn't you know we just ride motorcycles and hang out but uh, the, the yeah, but thing you is, know that's one that's one of the axes they grind well yes yeah, psychology yeah. so and you like know that. yeah so but okay. here here's the thing Phil you you fail to mention what those two things had in common yes they they have the age of the shooter mm -hmm. and the fact that they're on drugs now if wait a minute wait a minute no debate, you, hold, you're, hold you're, you're, you you're missing drug, phil you're missing yeah. the main commonality between those two incidences what's that the fact that those are two states that suddenly liberalized their gun laws so that anybody could get a gun on a moment's notice it happens in many states. Wait a minute. It happened in but Columbine. it happened in these, it happened in Look, Columbine. When it happened in, Col in on Columbine, mm -hmm. there was a gun ban in those years uh, on uh, All I'm on saying, weapons. Phil, is that you failed to mention that these two states have just enacted similar gun laws that just allow people to promiscuously buy guns without any background checks. I understand. Without, they can buy them and get, they can get them within an hour. It's very simple. If you're under 25, you can't buy it. Uh, unless you're in the military or the police department, if you're under 25, you can't buy a gun. Well, who says that's that? Who's one that? Way. Who says that, Phil? In, in Texas, that's not true. In Oklahoma, that's uh, not but true. But it could be true if, uh, you know, if, if, if states wanted to pass those laws. And I feel that some sort of thing that addresses the, uh, the issue of youth shooters going into these schools how about adult uh, shooters you know there are adult but shooters they're not going there. in and shooting up the schools well because they don't they, they're out of school now <laughs> yeah well, I mean, okay you on. had the guy with the bad back he got an operation about uh, three weeks ago mm -hmm. he went in uh, and he was pissed off in tulsa and he ended up shooting his doctor uh, another doctor was that a kid was that no kid? okay then that that but it wasn't a well, school th th there goes this your, guy had a beef with the doctor that performed his operation so you know in that case in the same day wait a minute, wait go ahead Just kevin say what kevin you bought that ar-15 the same day as yes, well yes he did and i have no no issue with a cooling off period as well as uh uh checking a person's background and uh ensuring that they're uh eligible to buy a gun now in some states how about how about forcing them how about forcing anybody who buys a gun to have insurance well if you're smart you do well, no you're saying i mean as a prerequisite to getting a gun that yes well, we're not saying you don't have the right to own a gun but we're saying you do have to have insurance in order to have one well you know if, if you drive a car supposedly that's a privilege and you need insurance uh if you buy a gun that's supposed to be a right now, do you, uh, uh, you know, I mean, you may not agree with that right. I mean, you know, Jeff rolled his eyes. But on the other hand, at the moment, it is a right. And I don't know that you need, you can, you can say that you have to have insurance or you have to have some prerequisite to have that right. Don't you think that a pistol by itself is uh, a licensed gun? And yet there are restrictions that kids at certain ages can't get a pistol. That's true. And kids at a certain ages shouldn't. And I believe that if they prosecuted the parents or the owners of guns that that uh, don't properly store them, uh, you know, right now, uh, you know, some of these school shooters, uh, they're not holding the parents uh, liable or responsible. Whereas uh, if... Uh, if they did, 
Uh, and they if should. If they did, the kid would still do it. So they, did, they did for that kid in uh, Wisconsin, didn't they? Which kid is that? Mm-hmm. Kyle Rittenhouse? One, I don't remember his name. The kid in Wisconsin that mm-hmm. shot up... Uh, God, which one was it? How many are there? You know, mm-hmm. I can't remember. But he, he ended up in a mobile home, or was it? Oh, yeah, maybe it was just a kid that he shot. Uh, they, they, they were prosecuting, I believe, those parents in Michigan. Yeah, they were prosecuting the parents in that. Yeah. So in California... Japanese but that's rare. You know. Yeah, it is. But we have we have some of the strictest gun laws in California. Um, so you have to be 18 to buy a long gun, a you know, rifle, or a shotgun, and mm-hmm. 21 to buy a pistol. Mm-hmm. And you know, and you go through a 10-day background and, uh, check that is done by the state, but is also they also check federal uh, NCIC, National Crime Information Thanks. Center. Yeah. And so you know, and if there's anything there, they don't give you the gun. You go back to pick it up, and they say no. The background was turned down, and that happens in about 10% of the cases. So, and you know, the 10-day background is a kind of a cooling off period too. Well, so yeah, we have a guy in Tulsa bought the gun. Have, several of us have insurance, but the insurance only really protect. Like Phil and I both have insurance, but it really protects us. It doesn't protect. Anybody oh, no, else. I have another I have another policy through the NRA that locked in insurance and that uh, that is for liability if I do damage to someone else. Oh, they only pay fifty dollars, it's all they can afford now. <laughs> they don't pay fifty. <laughs> but you can't bring back these kids' lives with insurance. And so no. really really what Well, I'll tell you what they are doing, I mean, and they they've been successful at it, is that uh, uh, they've been suing gun manufacturers, uh, and in uh, where was it? Uh, up in uh, up in. They sued Remington, I think. Connecticut Remington. was it? Where, where, uh, uh, and Remington went bankrupt. Yeah, and there's this company. The you know all the you know where all the AR, AR-15s come from. <clears throat> uh, well, com- a lot of people a build company, them. No, a company called Daniels. Oh, well, I read that. Let me tell you something. Yeah, I would yeah. love to own a Daniels Defense. Yeah, that is so the highest quality AR-15 you can get. That's a $5,000 AR-15. Right. I was on the waiting list for a Daniels Defense lightweight AR upper, and I'm still on the waiting list. Uh, Daniels Defense doesn't what make it. What are you going to do with an assault rifle? Well, it's not an assault rifle. AR stands for Armalite Rifle. I know, rifle. but it come, also comes under the assault weapon. People consider it an assault weapon well, because of the nature because, of how it shoots. And so. no, but no, the nature of how it shoots is no different than uh, than a other carbine. What are, uh, what are, what I know. AR, a- AR doesn't stand for assault rifle. It stands for Albert Reynoso. Yes. <laughs> Armalite. What, what, yes. what about if... What about if we found out that one car, say a Cadillac, for instance, mm-hmm. uh, killed more people in accidents? Would we call that an assault car? No. no, but I'll tell you something. I mean, quit making the equivalency to cars because cars are created for the for a separate reason. The reason cars are created is so you can get from point A to point B with, uh, with, uh, with ease and comfort. Okay. Guns are Whereas guns are only caused for on uh, guns are only created for one simple reason: to kill something. Not that's the, true. Oh, wait a minute. That's your that's your oh, reason. What do you, what can you do? Turn it over and, and pound nails into wood? Come Some on. Some people do, but you know, uh, it's also for hunting. It's also, and that's not the main purpose, but it's also for protection. I have news for you, Phil. You're, you're, Jeff, you, you wait a minute, Jeff has got his hand up. Make, oh, sorry, you didn't make a very good He point. doesn't talk very often. Jeff. I yeah. think the reason that people buy these kind of guns is for psychological ego. That has a lot to do with it. Small penises, big guns. Let me tell you something, gun, Jeff. You know. They're very accurate. They're extremely accurate and very easy to use. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know how accurate they are. Wow! If I want to take out everybody in my local school, I got I know the gun to go get. If I want to take out one thing, and I don't want it to, I don't want to miss and hit some Mm -hmm. innocent person or thing. uh, I want something that's accurate. 
Wait, a minute. Uh, uh, Bill Brian. Has Brian has joined us as zero days and still counting. What is that? Nine days. Nine days and still counting. Nine days since the shooting and nothing, nothing's happening. And nothing's wow, happening. Wow, your shirt in the screen there looks like NRA, but then when you lift it up, it's NBA. No, it's NRA. I support them one hundred percent. So do I. What is it? That's NBA. I need to get my tooth. I need to get my tooth. Hold on. You know, uh, after Leon Spinks uh, beat Muhammad Ali, they asked him, what are you going to do now that you're the champion? He says, I'm going to get me some Tifus, you know, because he, he wanted teeth. He called him Tifus. Yeah. Um, Remember that? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, uh by the way, uh, I, it, 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 you might be interested in this, Josh, and especially Phil, who thinks maybe he has COVID. Anybody else here had COVID? No. You, oh, you have Tony. Hello? Yeah. Tony. Well, the, the I, great I'm thing. Still the great, no COVID. The great thing about uh, um, um, Johnny Depp is he has managed to achieve herd immunity. <laughs> she gets two million. Now, if she goes bankrupt. And doesn't pay him the fifteen. Does he still have to pay her the two million? Well, it, what what Why you do? What you, her the, it, she they awarded it, her two it, million. Yeah, well, what for you her do suit. is you say, okay, good. You know, I owe you two million, but you owe me ten. So uh, I I won't charge you for the two million. So now you only owe me eight. I I don't think they can do that. Yes, when you, you go can. bankrupt. Yes, you can. The court I did decides, it in my, in my case. And and if you have an asset and and, and you and you bankrupt, that asset is still due uh, the bankruptcy court. So for instance, you didn't go bankrupt in your case, you just uh, you just paid the thing and settled. But in Amber Heard's situation, it, with a fifteen million dollar judgment, I I would think that she'd go uh, chapter seven and uh, you know, and then, but Johnny Depp would still be on the hook for the two million. No, he wouldn't be on the hook for the two million. No. Chapter no. seven. That means she's going to marry uh, Shaq O'Neal, right? Yeah. No. Uh, chapter seven is when you're, you're, you're totally bankrupt. There's no reorganization. Hmm. That's chapter eleven. There was reorganization. Yeah. But anyway, hello Ray. How are you? Hi. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing good. Just got done watching the Warriors get beat really bad Lee. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was, that was. oh is that why you're now here brian of course of course well it was really close until the last four minutes warriors start blowing them out and then uh, they got scared shooting the ball uh, yeah. so yeah. okay it's only game. missing it's only game one yeah yeah hey the, you Celtic, know, the celtics look good though i have to tell you yeah, yeah. they will last I, you know, I, I think that Jeff's new medicine came in today. He's really talkative. Yeah, it's my new drug. Yeah, absolutely. And that's a good thing. I like that. I like when you're more talkative. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, uh, Bill, no COVID. Uh, well, what isn't it? Oh, no, oh that. You know, yeah. after 30 minutes, it doesn't count, Bill. Yeah. Keep uh, the directions. Pay good money for this. Yeah, yeah it's, gone through, it's gone through a couple of my friends, but our family's still doing good. Adrian had a cough for like a, uh, about four or five days now, congestion, and keep testing her every day, nothing. And then me, I get tested every day for work because we're still testing at our facility. No, so. has she had the uh, has she had the uh, vaccine yet? Yeah. She, oh yeah. yeah. Ryan, okay. what she got? I got the same symptoms. Uh, I got uh, allergies, runny uh, eyes. I uh, Tylenol for kids for cough and fever. Yeah, there's a yeah. difference, though, Phil. You've got a cold. She's got a yeah. cold, but she's cute, and you're not. <laughs> yeah, God, God heals the cute ones quicker. So you're you're gonna be wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Brian, do you have one of those flipper teeth or something? <laughs> yeah, just right now. Yeah, just for. Uh, Tell us how it goes in, Brian. Uh, it's fun. Uh, it freak your friends out. Uh, the wife starts arguing with me, and I smile because I don't wear it at night when I'm home. So then she. Well, just I I like them. those clippers, and they say they won't they won't give me clippers. Here they say they don't they don't make they don't most dentists do not give them anymore. Clippers. It, yeah. cl it clippers. Uh, they're they're little false uh -huh. teeth, and you take them. And you go, huh. 
temporary. And I, I thought yeah. it was terrific because when I was missing a tooth because I had it removed, right, mm -hmm. and I hadn't gotten a implant yet and it had to heal and yeah. all of that, this served the function of uh, working as a spacer and also went in really easy in the morning and I'd have it all there all day and after a while I said, what am I going to pay $5,000 to put an implant in when I can use one of the, see, there they are. This was only $10, yeah. $10. Yeah. Now <laughs> you look, now you look much better. <laughs> That's a try. That that nice. Fabulous there, Phil. <laughs> He yeah. got the Donald Trump discount. There he oh, is. there you go. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, and that actually works. Yeah. 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 Uh, but $10. Bubba teeth. But you know, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, it, it, they don't, but they don't, they won't, they won't do a clipper with me. I asked for it when I had uh, this tooth missing. I said, can you give me a, uh, I'll buy, there's 750. I said, I'll buy one. Give me a clipper. And uh, no, they didn't give me a clipper. So Why? They said uh, we don't like to do it because they're they, you could swallow them or something. I like knew that. it. They didn't want to get sued. I knew it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if I Tony, swallow it, it's gonna really just rip the hell of my insides to shreds. Afraid you're Tony's choke. got a background just like us. It's so He's weird. Really yeah, yeah, only wow. his is darker. Is yeah, we're yeah. all visiting Tony in his kitchen right now. Four of us, <laughs> three of us. What do you want for breakfast? I got waffles. I got eggs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if, if they're as good as the pictures you send me, Tony, I'll stay home. Oh, I'll go to like, the diner. Oh, go his pictures are good. I got, I got better stuff in the food. No, but know. I'll tell you, I just I felt that the whole Amber Heard, uh, Johnny Depp was decision funny. was where the whole thing was completely, you know, looky-loo, Hollywood stuff, whatever. When the verdict came in, it would suddenly be the verdict came out as being quite profound. Uh, she's going to appeal. Hmm. She said she's going to appeal. Yeah, she's going to appeal, of course. But that doesn't mean that he hasn't get, gotten his reputation back, because all you had to do was watch that trial and you saw this woman was lying through her teeth. You know, she's really not bad looking at all. Well, she's not bad looking, but you know, that's some pretty Very pert. That's you know? some pretty expensive pussy. Yeah. You know, I mean, come on. Think of how much that cost Johnny Depp. I like the breakfast there. When they, my sister showed me the clip on there, he got up to have breakfast instead of coffee. He has a big jug of wine. <laughs> uh, what, what about Elon Musk? He had to pay uh, for her donations. Uh, I guess she No, donated. he didn't have to. He did. Yeah. He did. Uh, did well, she, like, she claimed that she donated uh, $250,000. I can't remember to who. Exactly. Uh, and, uh, I think it was uh, um, for uh, animals or something like that. Pete, I don't know. But anyway, yeah. she claimed that she, but it turned out she didn't do anything. It was Musk. He paid it. You know. Okay. Yeah, that's hmm. what boyfriends are for, right? That's what boyfriends are for. Exactly. Exactly. She, she's or ex not dating him anymore, is she? No, but I think they still had a relationship going after she was married to John uh, Johnny Depp. Yeah. She had, she was, she was screwing, still screwing Musk and still screwing J J uh, James Franco. Oh, James my. Franco. Yeah. I they know had, his mom. They had some stuff of her getting off an elevator with him in the apartment while Johnny was away doing something elsewhere. Yeah. Well, she's an actor. Wouldn't she, uh, you know, want Did you see her on the stand? Not much of an actor. She you know, she not oh, much of an act. Didn't have a good script, huh? Yeah, she. Yeah, right, right. But um, anyway, so the, but the, I just felt it was profound because of the conclusion and the, what what it said. And I think it's about time because I, I think a lot of guys are getting accused of stuff, and then they you know uh, they have to prove they're innocent. You know, what is this bathtub, Brian? Oh, oh, Brian. Oh. Brian Sigmund, uh, here he comes. Yeah, there he is. Hi, Brian. How are you? Oh, he's got he's got to connect his audio. Uh, it's coming. There it is. There it is. Hello, Brian. How are you? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Well, this is bathtub Brian, as opposed to Brian Brian. Yeah. Well, sometimes I'm in the bathtub, but today I'm. <laughs> 
What's wrong with your finger? Did uh, did you go out with Amber Heard? Oh, you saw this? <laughs> yes. I well, I changed the air filter in my furnace, and the uh, metal wire cut my finger, and then it bled like unbelievable all so over. You use the electric tape for a band aid. That's what we do. That wasn't a band aid for uh, black people. You know how they got band aids that match your skin. Oh, now we're getting racist on this show, are we? <laughs> oh, no, it, it's just uh, it's good business. <laughs> you know, in, in the trade, we use electrical tape for everything, so that's what we do. So, I I used to use uh, gaffer's tape for everything. Yeah, it, gaffer's it, tape is good. My my line was gaffer's tape is the stuff that the world is kept together with. You know, uh, and we, I first used to use gaffer's tape when we were doing uh, TV stuff because you could, it, it was good for everything. You could uh, take uh, wires and hold them down and think, yeah, there's the black gaffer's tape. Yeah, so yeah. it says on the inside gaff. Uh, uh, gaffer's tape. Does it say gaffer's? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's uh, great uh, stuff. Maybe yeah. you can see, you see, it says G A F F. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Gaff. Yeah. yeah, pro gaff. So USA. what's up, Brian? What's new with you? Uh, nothing much. Uh, I'm an air conditioning man. I do heating and air conditioning. So uh, yeah. these past few weeks have been horrendous and crazy. And, Alex, you, know, you could have used him today. Yeah, can you, can, 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 can you get to New York soon out. and just put in my air conditioner for me? Yeah. No, no. Ask him, uh, bathtub, Brian. If his air conditioner stopped working and then started working again, uh, is that an indication that it's time to get a new one? No. Uh -oh. no. Uh -oh, because Alex oh, said need, need Alex just spent five hundred bucks. Turn it back on. Um, well, if it if it stopped working and then started working, that means you have compression. So it's a control issue, and a control issue is much cheaper to fix than say any other kind of issue. So, I mean, no, I, I would not assume that something that stops working and then starts working would be it, <clears throat> an issue that is detrimental, like, oh, I would need something new, oh. but. Alex, know. did you keep the old one? I, no, we're getting rid of it. We, we still have it here, but we, Marjorie wants me to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. I told her we could put it in another window. And she went, no, I don't want another window. I like those windows so I can look out them and I can open them when it's warm. And I'm going, don't you want to close them when it's warm? Doesn't that and seem to make And put an air conditioner in there, you know? But I mean, also she she was constantly complaining about uh, the, the humidity and so on. I'm going, you know, you keep the windows open. If it's hot outside, what's gonna come in? Am I right, Mr. Air Conditioner Guy? You know? Well, so we're talking about window units? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if it starts acting funny, just trash it. No one's gonna no one's gonna work over a thing. So Yeah, yeah, right. So, you know, and if it's gone now, it's gonna go if it went once and it it'll go again. Aren't you, know. you like eight stories up, Alex? Yeah. Can't you just push it out the window and who cares, you know? Yeah, well, we do have, you know, we have this uh, these braces around the building, you know, the, this uh, shell, uh, what, what do you call it, sheltering, so that when they're working on the uh, building, it won't hit people and stuff like that. Uh, so. I, if it fell out of the building, it would just hit that, you know. Hey, Alex, I, I have a story about pushing an air conditioner out a window. Okay. Well, uh, I'll make it quick. So I was... Uh, I put this new air conditioning in for a lady and she, she had window units and it was, she had an oil heater and we put in a whole new furnace, whole new air conditioner and all. And she was an older woman and she had this thing in the basement. It, it looked like chimes, long chimes with these little bullseyes on them. And it, they were in the way of where I had to put the duct work. So I go to move them and I, I said, what is this? And she goes, well, I used to do uh, 4-H fairs with my husband. Uh, we were target shooters. And these little bullseyes would hit the chimes like a hammer. 
So they would go and they would do these shows and they would play patriotic songs. So they would have a, a 22 target <laughs> pistol and they would shoot and they would play, play these songs like these patriotic songs um, by shooting these little targets and hitting these chimes. And I said to her, I said, oh, you're like a regular Annie Oakley, aren't you? She goes, well, what do you know about Annie Oakley? I said, Annie Oakley, everybody knows Annie Oakley. She goes, oh, I'm shocked. My father used to tour with on that- the res- Indian reservations with Annie Oakley. I said, oh, wow, that's, that's crazy. So sh- this woman would go out with these Target 22 pistols and she would go and put on these shows. She'd throw the glass balls in the air and shoot them in the air and shoot these things. So when I got done putting this air conditioner in, I said to her, I said, well, do you want us to take these window units out for you? She said, no, I got them. And I said, well, we, you have muscle here. You, you got me, you got the, the install guys here. Why, why don't we take these window units? No, 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 I got them, I got them, I got them. By the time I pulled out of the driveway and I collected her check and I pulled out, I noticed that all of her air conditioners were pushed out of the window into the into the gardens she just (laughs) just pushed them out the window she didn't give a shit she was like i'm done with them and she pushed them out the window and we laughed all the way home it was unbelievable i mean it was she's a horrible shot she was trying for you i i saw that uh show it was called the whitakers those inbred people that uh that live in the shacks and uh the um i I thought that was tony's family (laughs) None of them are alive. But uh, anyway, yeah. what else? What else is going on in the news? That, uh, oh, by the way, Alex, uh, Bathtub Brian just showed you one other reason people shoot guns. Uh, you know that doesn't have yeah to play to music. Doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never thought of it, but I, guns are a well-known musical yeah, musical instrument. instrument. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It. it the loudest music in the world you need earplugs guns you need earplugs so it keeps the earplug market in business yeah yeah I just imagine. don't buy these crappy amplified ones called auto o-t-t-o oh yeah uh, oh yeah i like those yeah. uh, they're military uh Who electronic cares? earplugs nobody cares oh okay well okay. I, anyway i think i'm gonna need um uh, 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 <laughs> Josh, anything in the news that's been getting your rock in your world at all? Uh, a couple of things happened, you know. Uh, what was interesting that, you know, apparently in Texas, yeah, they they passed a law, a state law, I, I guess, that is trying to ban private social media companies from being able to censor their members for their views or beliefs which on its face sounds you know like a a a free speech issue but it's no it's but it's private companies so in other words you know texas is private companies are like twitter facebook they're private yes yeah that that, that's who it's aimed at i think but is the internet private property Th- th- that so, doesn't have anything to do with the Phil. The companies so, themselves. The companies oh, themselves. Oh, for fuck's sake! Can I just finish the goddamn yeah. sentence? I, I mean, asked you a fucking question, fucking Josh. God damn it! Man. I know you're sick. I mean, but you that's, least... that's, that's the problem here. I mean, we can't have a conversation about anything because no one will shut the fuck up long enough. Come on. Uh, you, yeah, go ahead. Me. This is why we talk on Saturday night because we can we can have a conversation. Right. Yeah. About someone asking me something Josh. fucking stupid. You're a little too. No, sensitive. I think he's right, Phil. In this case, I mean, he was. Well, I asked him a question. But he was in the middle of saying something. Let him finish right. it, then and ask him. Wasn't pertinent that you know? Yeah, he said that you can't say it. You weren't uh, letting him finish. A private e- company, and I asked him if it's over the internet. Isn't that public? If he's trying to say a story, that's all, Phil. Uh, yeah. What I think now is that we have five minutes left, and we're not going to be able to talk about it. So. I'll just go back to talking. Well, I know, I know the case you're talking about, it, and they, they it's, it's just aggravating. Was it, was it, oh, the, was it the Supreme Court? Uh, who, who, who? No. Uh, oh, I'm talking. Yeah, they, they refuse to stay. You know, they or they have a. They're not going to let the law go into effect. I believe. So, mm-hmm. the hell with it. Yeah, the I, I'm just saying. Court. If you think about, you know, certain aspects of political conservatism, 
you know, why is it okay if I own a business? You know, it's it's I'm allowed to tell you no, I won't sell you a cake because you're gay, but if I own a business about that, but then I can't censor. I mean, it, they make no sense. I mean, but we're not going to talk the hell with it. I'm, I'm not calling this shit. I, I just don't anymore. understand, Josh, you know? why it's it's still okay to censor that stuff if they're using uh, the internet, which belongs to the people. It, it does it belong? Well, I would to the tell people? you what I thought about that if I thought that I could talk for more than five seconds at a time, but I'm not going to be uh. able to. I'm just going to turn this into a fucking clown show here in a minute. So it, it, what, it doesn't matter. It, you're, it really you're doesn't. Very I just, sensitive. You know, I, I, uh, give, how, I give you Phil, please stop. Phil, stop. Huh? Stop. All right. Josh, what I was going to say is that um, uh, f to begin with, Phil is all wrong. The Internet isn't, uh, doesn't belong to the people. The airwaves belong to the people. I think that's what you're mixing it up with, Phil. No. Y it, yes. Uh, the, the airwaves, Internet according to the F by the government, according to the FCC, according to the uh, 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 FCC Act of 1934, I think it starts off with the airwaves belong to the people. They don't say that about the internet. The internet doesn't belong to anybody. I know that there's that thing called SB 160. No, it has uh, nothing to do with this. Well, it, now when the internet was developed, was it developed Phil, by the government? Phil, I'm still trying to talk Al to Gore Josh. Al Gore developed it. No, I'm, it was, I'm still it was trying to talk to Josh. All right, I thought you talked to him on Saturdays. Oh Jesus, Phil. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> uh. I, I guess the question here is, I mean, we only got two minutes left, is uh, how do you think, was it the Supreme Court that said that they had to, they couldn't uh, stop them uh, from, um, from, le from preventing people from using their platforms? Well, I mean, I haven't really heard the case yet. I think, you know, I think it was today, I saw the headlines, so I don't know if it was yesterday. But it was some kind of well, temporary thing that, yeah, they're just, yeah. you know, the bypass the, law from going into effect you know but as a larger issue outside the court you know i guess it's just an interesting conversation to talk about the law in itself you know and like i said the the theory of conservatism that in one way says private businesses should be okay to do whatever they want you know to deny people things based on their beliefs but now we've turned around basically in the same thing it's instead of expression, it's speech, which are all contained within the same amendment, and now they're saying that it's not okay. So I have issue with that. It it doesn't matter about, you know, yeah. who owns the intellectual, the airwaves or whatever. I'm just saying I'm not even wanting to discuss that. I'm wanting to discuss it as a, as a matter of political philosophy and hypocrisy. Yeah. You know, I mean, that... Yeah. But it, it's it, not going to go anywhere, so... Yeah, yeah. I, you know, but uh, it but it was in Texas. So, so. Anyway, yeah, the law was in Texas. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, let me uh, let me just play the theme here because it's uh, getting close to the end. Uh, thank you, Phil, for being here this evening. Appreciate it. Uh, Jeff, always a pleasure to have you here. Kevin, great to have you here as well. Alan, Josh, uh, love your mind. Okay, and uh, uh, of course, uh, Tony. What can we say about your mind? Uh, not much. Uh, and uh, Ray, you've been very quiet tonight, but thanks for joining us. I really appreciate it. And the two Brian's are at the bottom of the picture. There's first of all Brian Neary, and then there's Bathtub Brian. Bathtub uh, Brian's got all his teeth. That's how we can tell the difference. <laughs> Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Yeah, and. Uh, why don't all of you give a big uh, wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye with you, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, there they go. That's our citizen panel for tonight. we got a little bit of time here. Let me tell you that Jack Bishop is next. Right all, right here, right here, right here on GabNet. He's uh, got the uh, citizen panel going. It's done through Skype, and you call GabNet Live on Skype. GabNet Live. 
and he would love to talk to you and find out what you're thinking about various and sundry things. Uh, I'm a little punchy tonight. Boy, I'm telling you, it's weird. Towards the end, I found I couldn't put two, two, uh, two sentences together like I'm having that trouble right now. Anyway, I'll see you again tomorrow uh, right back here, 1030 Eastern Time. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, and I like to say it, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, if you haven't gotten your COVID shots, you're an asshole. We'll see you later. Bye-bye, everybody.